It's the place where some of the world's most famous songs were recorded by the likes of Queen, Oasis and Coldplay. But until now, the role of a Welsh dairy farm in rock history has gone largely unnoticed. The Rockfield Studios in South East Wales were set up by two farming brothers and a new film is telling their story, as our Wales correspondent Howell Griffith tells us. We originally started Charles and I up in the attics. Kingsley Ward is an unlikely rock legend. Inspired by Elvis, 60 years ago he started a band with his brother Charles. But when the London recording studios turned them down, they decided to build their own. Two, three, four. The band didn't take off, but the studios did, as the new film telling Rockfield's history sets out. By 1970, they'd recorded a number one. After that, the big names followed, including Queen. Lovely boys, by the way, all of them were. And um, they used to play Frisbee in the yard. But they were followed by a band from Canada called Rush, which is a massive rock band. And they were followed by Iggy Pop. And when Iggy Pop was here, David Bowie turned up. And then in 1980, Simple Minds turned up. There are little pieces of rock history everywhere you look. And here, for example, is where Freddie Mercury finished off Bohemian Rhapsody. On top of this wall, Noel Gallagher recorded the guitars to Wonderwall. And Coldplay were inspired to name one of their biggest songs here after spotting a copy of the phone book. Yeah, they were all yellow. I came By the time we got to Rockfield, it was like, this is your chance. You know, we've been given kind of six months to get used to being signed and stuff. And then our label were like, look, you've got to kind of make it happen now. So it was very much like, some sort of musical Hogwarts, you know, we were sent away to figure it out. Some bands have spent longer than others doing just that. The Stone Roses lived here for 13 months making an album. Oasis have also made the most of life at the residential studio. As the new documentary shows, Rockfield has seen its fair share of excess. I couldn't have carried them all over anyway. Oh, yeah, <laughs> it's too many. Should be Queen in this one. Yes, there's Queen. The woman who's kept generations of stars in line is Anne, Kingsley's wife and the studio's bookkeeper. Whenever there's a bit of a mess up yeah. and someone's causing trouble, they say, send for mother. So over I go, say, right, now I'm being your mum. I want you to behave yourselves <laughs> and things like that. You sort them out. And, and I sort them out, yes. Lockdown has seen the studios fall silent for the first time in decades. But Kingsley has no plans to retire or let Rockfield's history fade away. Howell Griffith, BBC News. And you can watch uh, Rockfield, the studio on the farm. It'll be on BBC Four, BBC Two Wales and on the iPlayer this Saturday night at 9.15.